live improv from New York City. And what we have now is Heidi and I are going to play a game of first line, last line. What happens is Heidi's going to get a first line of dialogue. And I'm going to get a last line of dialogue. And we have to just uh, fill in that annoying bit in the middle uh, to try to make that first line match that last line. Now, what's interesting uh, about this game is we have to do it in exactly three minutes. Not more, not less, exactly three minutes. And I'll ring my bell when we get to three minutes. It'll go like that. So why don't we dive in? And Heidi, do you want to get a first line of dialogue from somebody? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you said no? Wouldn't that be a hilarious <laughs> moment? Yeah. Uh, I would. Uh, am I supposed to? has to match or it won't work. Say that again, Stephanie. The duct tape has to match in color or it won't work. Okay. Can you can you please type that or a best approximation of that into the chat so that between now and when we do it, um, if, if, if we forget, then we'll know what it is. Then Sandy, I'm going to ask for, if this is, if the duct, the duct tape has to match and it's got to be an exact match, if it's going to work, what's the furthest thing from duct tape you can think of to give me a line? Make it hard. I've done this before. So make it super hard. Get off the couch. Get off the couch. <laughs> get off the couch can you type that in please get off the couch and um now when i get us a, a location that i can where, where are we where's a physical location that we can be in park the bar uh, it could be bar i said park bar the park oh i used to go to i used to go to bars and parks and uh and who are we to each other what's our relationship <laughs> siblings siblings in the park that's us siblings in the park your first line is the duck that the duct tape color has to match or it won't work and the last line has to be get off the couch and we're in a park so this should be good are you ready heidi i am ready then let's play let's play <laughs> The duct tape has to match or it won't work. Yeah, I, I know, but, but it's hard to find pigeon colored duct tape. See, most duct tape is either gray or, or black. That's yeah. Pigeons are, uh, are sort of a, a grayish blue. And if we're going to duct tape pigeons together, I mean, you have to have compromise. They're still going to poop on this bench, even if we duct tape them together. Terry, sometimes compromise has to happen. You know, if we duct tape them together and they poop on the bench, there's one area to clean. If they're willy nilly, if you allow all the pigeons in the park to go everywhere, we're going to have to clean more of the bench. That's all I'm saying, Terry. Jonathan, you're going to want me to do the cleaning no matter how much poop there is on the bench. I'm the one taping the pigeons together. What am I supposed to do everything? You think I'm your maid, Johnny. I know that. You think I'm going to clean up after everything. Well, I, I've always wanted I mean, to. There's duct tape. My... There's duct tape all over the ground right now. You're just going to leave it there. I'm going to clean it up and put it in the bin. Let me explain to you, Terry. I always wanted a maid. I never wanted a little sister, not once. I thought I was doing a great job. And then mom and dad show up and say, here's somebody else. So, so you're right. I want a maid. I would prefer a maid. Mom and dad didn't say, here's your maid. That's the problem. I always wanted them to say, here's your maid. And instead they say, here's your little sister. Do you see where that might upset me a little bit? Do you see that I had no choice in this matter? No, actually, that never occurred to me till just this moment. Yes. I, I think I owe you an apology. Yeah, you do. And uh, you owe those pigeons an apology, too. They look miserable. 
I do. I'm going to go get some goop up and, and, and you know what? This is my call. This is my moment to change. I am going to, I am going to move out of your house. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to, I'm going to live on my own two feet. Well, that would be a good idea. Okay. I, 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 oh, sorry. You finish. Well, then you could buy yourself a bed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, yes, you're right. An actual bed. I have been sponging off you too long and I feel terrible about it. And I am very sorry. And I am going to follow the best advice you ever gave me ever, bar none. I'm going to get off the couch. <laughs> See, thank you, Heidi. That was fun. We didn't. Did we go three minutes? Yes, that was exactly three minutes. This is by the exact thing. I had a timer. I was cheating. I was just feeling. You know, I actually look at the time. That's, uh, thank you, Heidi. That was terrific. And thank you for watching Improv. More coming, so stick around. If you don't, we know where you live, and we'll come and do Improv for you in your house. I don't want that.